Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be playing a little bit more with memory balancing in a server because if you go out and buy a brand new server and use many thousand dollars on a new server it's very important to put in the right amount of memory and put it in right and I want to do a bit of testing and see how much you actually lose by doing it wrong so right now I have my server this one that is sticking out here it's actually configured right so um, we're gonna start by running a benchmark and see how it performs when the memory is configured in the most optimal way in this server and this is a Lenovo X3650 Model 4 one of my favorite servers um, actually it is my favorite server right now because it's the fastest and most expensive one that I have I think maybe I have a couple of other servers that are more expensive but well this one is the is the one that is my favorite right now um, so let's go to uh, Dave Cat and see what I'm up to oh and while you're at it um, I'll have to remind you to give this video a like right now it's high summer as I'm recording this and my numbers are really down so I really need um, some good likes so uh, please remember that if you like it if you don't like this video you of course don't have to okay here is my server it's the Lenovo X3650 model 4 it has two CPUs down here and it has each of those two CPUs has four memory channels so a total of eight memory channels in the server and each of those memory channels has room for three slots three blocks of memory well there is three slots for three blocks of memory so right now it's configured this is my memory blocks um, and they are s oh. ah. I dropped the memory in the server that's why I'm using small plastic bits each of them are 16 gigabytes um, I haven't written 16 on all of them so the black ones are also 16 it's just because I'm lazy um, right now the server is running in this configuration and that's a very optimal configuration for this server so we're gonna try and run a benchmark on it and see how it performs here is the screen of the server so let's just check it out before we start here we go we have it's running server 2016 it has two processors and they are e5 2670s 2.6 gigahertz and right now it has 128 gigabytes of memory which um, if you do the math eight blocks of 16 gigabytes will uh, make 128 gigabytes so awesome so we're gonna shut this down we're gonna shut this down make sure that nothing is running um, it want to do some updating but I removed the network card why this is uh, yellow down here I don't want that to interrupt so right now it has no network so we're gonna run this Cinebench thingy here and just uh, run for the CPU thing and this is actually so fast that I don't have to pause the video it's uh, kind of a quick server it uh, does a decent job on this I can hear the fan speeding up a little bit so it just happened to get hot 2032 CBs uh, we will save that and um, I will uh, reconfigure the server and we will try it again so to um, try something different to try to uh, break this this is balanced memory this means that there is the same amount of memory in this processor as in this processor and there is the same amount of memory in each of the memory channel which means that this is a balanced system so I'm gonna try and unbalance it by removing all the RAM on the second CPU and see what that does for the system so um, I'm gonna be taking that out I have removed power
Okay, while this boots, I actually have a question for you that I would um, like you to reply to down in the comments. I was asked by Lenovo, when do we want to call it a um, am amount of gigabytes or an amount of terabytes? Um, you know, if you have 1024 gigabytes, you have one terabyte. But with the new servers that has three to six terabytes of RAM, actually they can have a lot less, but you get into an area where you can have one terabyte of memory and put in another couple of DIMMs and you will have a terabyte and some. Would that be one point something terabytes or would it be a thousand and something gigabytes? Please leave your reply in the comments below. I would really love to um, see your thoughts of this. When do we look at it in terabytes and when do we look at it in gigabytes? Okay. We, have, we still have two CPUs. Now we have 64 gigabytes of memory, which is way more than we need to run this test block. Well, I like those blocks. So let's uh, close this down and run the test again. And I saved the last one, so we can compare it with that one. And run. I hope it will still be pretty fast. It, it still looks pretty fast. 2019 is still pretty good, I must admit. I would think this would have been a lot worse. Okay, so next scenario would be, uh, I would try and put one block over there. And so now they're, they're balanced between the CPUs, but they are not balanced between the different channels on the CPUs. So I wanna try that. And that looks like this. This CPU has two blocks and this CPU has two blocks. It uh, changes right here which of this middle block is uh, for this CPU or this CPU. Okay, I just ran the test again with this memory configuration. And as you can see up here, it, um, it scored 2033, which is actually the best score until now, which definitely tells me that this test program is not uh, using the RAM for anything. So it's, it's using more or less the processor without using the RAM. So I don't think the I don't think this test program is using the RAM. It's kind of only testing the processor and the processor kind of stays the same. So I need to find something else to test on. Okay, another test that I've seen work in the past. I'm gonna rent this I'm gonna render this 23 minutes and six 23 minutes and 16 second long video out it's an older one you have seen it um, I think I go to the local recycling center in this one and then see how long that takes and let that be the judge of how this is performing it says it's gonna take 18 minutes it's a long test Okay, that ended up taking way longer than expected. 35 minutes and 48 seconds. I should really have chosen a shorter clip or something, but well, um, now that I've done it, let's just uh, keep to it. So this was a step back and I've gone back to um, this configuration, which should be optimal. And I'm gonna try and run the rendering test on that one. Okay, so I've run all three configurations again and these are the times and they are not that far apart i would have thought that there would be a lot more difference here the, the optimal ram configuration that took 32 minutes and nine seconds uh, this configuration here uh, these are out that took 34 minutes and 19 seconds the last configuration, which was that one, uh, that took 35 minutes and 48 seconds. So um, I was expecting a lot more latency, but I, I think I might know why. But 
maybe you have some input on this. Okay, I'm rendering this movie out again. And we can see all the CPUs, all 32 cores. Yeah. All, all 16 cores, 32 logical processors are working pretty hard. CPU is working about 85% over here. But if we see the memory, which is here, we see that we have 64 gigabytes of memory. And of that 64 gigabytes, it's using 10.8 gigabytes, which says that it, it's more or less it, it can fit all that in one memory block. So this might be that it's not using all that memory. So the memory being in different and unbalanced blocks all over the server might not have as big an impact when it's uh, working like this. So this video didn't really bring me where I wanted to go, even though I did learn something and I hope you uh, learned something as well. Um, this configuration with two CPUs is apparently possible and it's not even as bad as this configuration, which um, was a surprise to me. I would think that this configuration would be really bad but apparently it's um, better to have one CPU in balance than uh, having two CPUs out of balance. That kind of makes sense, but well, I would have thought that having one CPU without any memory at all would be a bad thing. But, well, um, so I need to uh, do some other testing. I did a test of this way back on uh, on the Lenovo X3650 model 3 where I had the VMware in between. Right now I'm testing this with directly on uh, Windows Server 2016 and that might be why this is um, not giving me the result that I was expecting. Plus my video editing is not using as much RAM as I am. Um, it's not using as much RAM as is needed to really show the, the bad performance of this part. Uh, well, we did learn something. If you are just using it for a smaller task on a local server, this might not have a, as big an impact. You can't see where I'm pointing, where my picture is there. But this does not have as, as big an impact as um, that's when you have a hyperizer in the middle of it, apparently. So, so even though this video may not be as long as I usually make them, it has taken all day because I've been so busy pulling out my own hair because this didn't make any sense to me. First the CPU test program, Cinebench, didn't give me the result that I was expecting and now my editing software didn't give me as strong results as I was expecting. So. But, well, that's how it goes sometimes. But, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And remember to um, comment on what you think about terabytes or gigabytes. When do we change from calling it 1024 gigabytes to one terabyte? Or if it's like 1280 gigabytes, do we call it something else in terabytes? Uh, leave that in the comments below. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.